Hi YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, that's for Art Again, and I have found a woman who is willing to be interviewed. Her name is Michelle, and I'm going to ask her my usual three questions. We've been talking about uh, Fukushima and Hanford. We live here in Eugene, Oregon. She's a student of mine, or not of mine, a student with me at school. So Michelle, so I'm going to ask you my usual three questions. First off, what do you know about nuclear, and what do you know about the harm it causes to the human body? Well, I know that nuclear power is not safe, that the, um, the half-life of nuclear isotopes is far longer than we can even fathom in this lifetime, and that it can cause cancer and thyroid problems and um, any number, diabetes, any number of health issues for humans from being exposed. Okay. And so what do you know about Hanford? Let's talk about Oregon first. What do you know about Hanford? I don't know much about Hanford. I know that it's leaking radiation and that it is largely um, the cause of why Oregon has such high cancer rates. Mm -hmm. compared to the rest of the world. Do you know what it is? I know that it's a, isn't it a nuclear disposal site? Yeah. Yes, in northern Oregon, north of Portland, right? Uh-huh, it's right on the mouth of the Columbia River as it heads up towards right. Seattle. And it's leaking radiation into the Columbia River, thus causing um, contamination throughout the entire basin. So. And what do you know about Fukushima? Fukushima is um, a nuclear power plant in Japan that had a meltdown during the tsunami of 2000, was it 2011? Yeah, 2011, and that it's been leaking radiation into the ocean ever since. Well, let me share some information with you. In Fukushima, there were six reactors that melted down. Right. Three are melting down still, nonstop, daily, into the Pacific Ocean every day. 85 times worse than Chernobyl ever was. Every day. Every day. Yes. It's super bad. Uh -huh. Which is why I do these interviews, which is why I have Fukushima on the brain. Because I think about your child and you, and 15 years from now, the likelihood of you guys being sterile or having cancer or having diabetes is extremely high because of it. I mean, we're all, all severely contaminated. So that's, that's really, like, my, I, my thinking is what I attempt to do is interview people and then encourage you to get actively engaged in contacting our senators and the Department of Energy the, and that nuclear regulatory agency who is basically, they work for, they're supposed to protect us from the, you know, injustices or from the nuclear industry, but they basically work to protect them. Do you know any, one more question, do you know anything about the Price-Anderson Act? I don't. Do you know what it does? It indemnifies any corporation, any individual, or any person, or anybody working in the nuclear industry from ha being personally liable or having any criminal offenses to them, whether they knowingly or unknowingly harm their community. That's appalling. Yes. So they can do whatever they want, and there is zero accountability, and the American public has to pay for it. Yeah. Something has to be done, and nobody can do it but us. Well, I'm having a protest on May 13th at about 6 o'clock up in Corvallis, if anybody wants to join me. I'm going to be posting a video up in the next day or two explaining where the address will be and what I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's not going to be a long protest because it's a school night, but I'm going to go out and scream out in front of her house and publicly humiliate her. That's what I'm going to do. So, <laughs> thanks, Michelle. Thank you, Lonnie.